ABS Media Demo. I'm going to run you through a worked example here. Um, you probably want to take notes. You probably want to take notes at this point. So stop, pause, go get yourself a piece of paper, a ruler, and a pencil. Break even analysis, worked example. Okay, the question. Now remember, we need to pick out three pieces of key information. Without this information, forget it. First thing you do is look for this information. Pick it out. Show me. Total fixed costs or fixed cost information. Here we've got it, 416 per week. It's given. We just have to look and find it. Variable costs, variable costs here um, for the taxi trip, $8. And then we just need to know the price or the average revenue. And here we are, decided to charge each customer $40 per journey. Okay, price. $40. We've got our three pieces of information now. We can go away and run our calculation. So the taxi company. I'm going to use unit contribution. Again, it's simplest. The simplest one to do. You're just plugging numbers into your calculator. You're just plugging numbers into your calculator. And you do have to know what unit contribution is. You can't go into the business and management exam without knowing this. So we've got our three pieces of information there. We know that we've got the the unit contribution rule, fixed cost divided by unit contribution, price $40, less our variable costs. Unit contribution $32 and we'll just simply divide our fixed costs out by that much. So 416 are our fixed cost, unit contribution $32, divided out 13 journeys. Always round up to the whole number, always round up to the whole number. Just like payback period, we don't talk about um, 0.8 of a good, 0.7 of a good. We're looking at the nearest whole number, not the nearest whole number, round it up. The all important chart. Give your chart a total, um, an appropriate title. So, name of the firm, what they're producing, and what time period it is being um, looked at across weeks, months, or a year. Now, the axes and labels are always the same. Doesn't matter which company you are producing your break even analysis chart for. The axis Show and labels me. are always the same. Cost revenues and profits in dollars on the Y for the sky axis. Output and provide some information about the time period down the bottom and what's being produced. Uh, cost revenues and profits in dollars and output X axis. What's produced and what time period. The IBE Business and Management Examiner will be looking for a nice, even scale. It's it's perfectly acceptable to use a scale break, and indeed, often you'll you'll need to use one. But after the scale break, keep your scale nice and even. We'll start by drawing our fixed costs in first. Fixed costs. Just pull it from our three pieces of essential information. $416 are our fixed cost. Draw the line in. Label it. To 
produce our total cost line we just need two points two points and then we can um, put a ruler between them and extend out if necessary uh, two points are only needed to plot the total cost line now remember total costs are fixed cost plus variable costs so if we're producing nothing then our total costs are just going to be our fixed costs so the total cost line always starts where the total fixed cost meets the y-axis. We're going to choose an output level just past the largest amount mentioned in the question. Now the largest level of output in the question was 115 customers, so I'm going to choose the output level of 120 here for my second point just past that largest level of output in the question. Okay, 120 um, journeys, taxi journeys per week. Right, now the total costs are the fixed costs plus the total variable costs. So at 120, the variable cost is $8. $8 times 120 plus the 416 fixed cost will give us a, gives us our total cost. That total cost turns out to be $1,376 at 120 taxi units, taxi journeys. 1376, 120, we dot across, dot down, point in, draw the line, label it, total costs. Okay, two lines down. Those are our two cost, cost curves. Uh, one to go. Total revenue. Uh, two points only are needed to plot your total revenue line. Once you've got those two points, you put your ruler on, draw the line, extend it out if necessary. Bottom left hand corner, always, always, always the starting point for the total revenue. If we sell nothing, we get zero dollars in revenue. So zero at zero, the origin. And then total revenue at output level. Again, we're working on that 120 taxi journeys a week. We know the price is $40. $120 times, uh, 120 times 40 will give us $4,800. Plot our two lines. To find our point, put our ruler on it, nice straight line, always ruled, total revenue, done and dusted. So this is what every break-even chart needs to look like. The scales, the labelling, three curves, total cost always starting where total fixed cost meets the y-axis. Total revenue always down at the origin, Break even point, total revenue equals total cost. And a top exam hint here before you draw in your break even point down in the bottom and label it break even quantity, go away and do a calculation to determine exactly what the break even quantity is. Don't just try and guess it from by reading it off the y axis. Go away, do the calculation, and that way you know for sure exactly what that information on the y-axis should be. Okay. Our break-even graph. Anything above the break-even point is all profit. All profit. Now profit is the difference between total revenue and total costs. And if the total costs are larger than total revenue, we're talking about a loss. So be able to identify the loss making parts of the graph and the profit making parts of the chart as well. Because our fixed costs are all paid for, um, Increasing profit is made as more output is sold past the break-even level of production. Right. 
the more we produce past the break-even point, the more each unit of output is contributing to the profit. And likewise, losses are minimized as unit output approaches the break-even level of production. So as we produce closer and closer to the break-even quantity, um, we get closer and closer to paying off our fixed cost of production. And once we've paid the fixed cost, um, we start to make a profit. Each unit starts to contribute to the profit. Back to the question, we've got the break-even point done, dusted, we've, pro we've produced the break-even chart, that's six marks, the break-even point, one mark, three marks left up for grab. Show me. Okay, margin of safe, uh, break-even point, yes, identify, 13. Margin of safety is that level of, um, we look at how much more we're producing in terms of output past the break-even level of output. So if the break-even quantity is 13 and we are, and the level of demand is 115 customers per week, Then we've got a margin of safety of 102. We'd have to drop more than 102 customers per week before we um, went back into the red and started making a loss. So we call this a margin of safety. Here's the definition for it. The margin of safety is the difference between the level of demand that 115 journeys a week we picked straight out of the question and the break-even quantity of production which we worked out to be 13. So the margin of safety there, 115 minus 13 gives us 112. Another mark, thank you very much. The profit and loss, profit or loss at 25 customers per week, you know we'll be making a profit. And here again is one of the key reasons why I like to use the unit contribution when calculating break-even. I know that any amount, I know that any amount of output past that 13 break-even quantity is going to contribute towards the profit. So we've worked out the contribution already, that was $32. There's 12 more, um, 12 more taxi journeys that are contributing directly to profit after our initial 13 break-even um, quantity. So 12 times the unit contribution, the profit at 25 customers per week is going to be $384. The profit and loss at 115 customers per week is exactly the same. The number's just gone up the profit's going to be bigger. So we're looking at 24. That should be 115 there. All right, remember the profit's only made after the break-even level of output. So any taxi journey there if we know the unit contribution, each and every taxi journey past that break-even level of output is going to be contributing to profit. In this case, it's 112 more. So 112 times the unit contribution. The profit at 115 customers per week is going to be 3,584. And do indicate in your answer that it is a profit.